undisclosed location somewhere in North America, this is your weekly Truth Be Told Minuteman report. Hey everyone, it's Robert Hensley, your Truth Be Told Minuteman, and today we're going to talk about the Phoenix Lights, sometimes called the Lights Over Phoenix. Um, And uh, if you're unfamiliar with this case, uh, which is celebrating its 27th anniversary this year, in fact we missed it by just a few weeks, Um, on March 13th, 1997, there were a series of widely sighted unidentified flying objects observed in the skies over the southwestern U.S., uh, specifically in the states of Arizona and Nevada. Um, These lights were reported between 7.30 p.m. and 10.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time in a space of about 300 miles, so from what stretched from the Nevada state line through Phoenix to the edge of Tucson. Uh, These uh, lights were described as um, being in a triangular formation that seemed to pass over the state, as well as a series of stationary lights that were seen specifically over the Phoenix area. Some witnesses even claimed that they saw a carpenter square shaped UFO containing five spherical lights. Uh, What some people don't realize is that uh, Kurt Russell, the actor, Um, was actually the first pilot to report seeing the lights. Um, He was... uh, He was flying his son, uh, Oliver Hudson, to see his girlfriend, and Kurt explained that they were on approach. Uh, I saw six lights over the airport in absolute uniform V-shape. Oliver said to me, and I was just looking at him, I was coming in, we were half a mile out, and Oliver said... Pa, what are those lights? And then I kind of came out of my reverie and I said, I don't know what those are. And when Oliver asked if they were okay, Kurt replied, yeah, I'm going to call this in. And he reported it. Now, Kurt Russell says that he didn't think much of the incident after that. But years later, he noticed his wife, Goldie Hawn, uh, watching a TV show about the Phoenix Lights. And he said he had a moment like Richard Dreyfuss in Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Um, But uh, there's never really been a satisfactory uh, explanation of the Phoenix Lights. Uh, The government, of course, tried to uh, write it off as a um, pilot training program for the Air National Guard called Operation Snowbird, um, which was based at Davis Monthon Air Base in Tucson. Um, They said that the first group of lights were um, actually a formation of A-10 Thunderbolt II aircraft, which were flying over Phoenix. The second group of lights were identified as illumination flares that were dropped from another flight of A-10 aircraft, and that... um, This could all be explained by these training exercises. However, Fife Symington, who was uh, the governor of Arizona at the time, recounted that this whole experience witnessing these lights uh, was otherworldly. Now, there have been reports of other lights uh, over Phoenix uh, in 2007 and 2008. And again, those were attributed to military flares that were dropped by fighter flights uh, or fighter aircraft. Uh, from the nearby Luke Air Force Base. And, um, yeah, it's just one of those stories that has been with us for years, um, but never realized that Kurt Russell was the man who uh, was the first to report seeing these lights over Phoenix. Now, in his explanation, he doesn't say that he saw flares falling or that he saw any other aircraft on his uh, instrumentation either. Um, So... Makes you wonder, uh, were people just being told that this was Operation Snowbird and this really is a UAP experience? Um, Or what was it exactly? So uh, that's it for today. Uh, Thanks for listening. Please, if you have any questions, comments, concern, if you have story ideas or just want to chat, (laughs) feel free to email me. You can find me at reportminuteman at gmail.com. Again, that's reportminuteman at gmail.com. And uh, remember, there are three opportunities each week for new content from Truth Be Told. 
Uh, look for the Minuteman Report every Monday from three at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 Eastern. Uh, Truth Be Told, Transformation with Bonnie Burkert on Wednesdays, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 Eastern. And there's Tony Sweet with the original Truth Be Told every Friday, same time, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 Eastern. And uh, until next time, stay true. Stay true.